Whew. I hope you guys can see me right now. Uh, how's that for humidity? The lens is literally fogging up, um, as is the little screen where I can see myself. But anyway, uh, I'm out right now at a somewhat local park, and I'm gonna do some board flipping. Uh, so it's been a really, really hot, humid day. Camera lens is fogging up again. I'm gonna try to... Jeez. Well, uh, <laughs> it's been really, really hot and humid lately. Um, I've waited for the temperatures to cool down a little bit. I'm gonna flip some boards right now. We're gonna hope for a milk snake, and then tomorrow, I'm not completely sure what I'm doing yet. It's going to be hot, but it's also going to rain. Uh, so I might go to the Pine Barrens uh, and see what we can find down there. But uh, let's see what we can find right now. Careful not to touch the poison ivy right there. Try to finesse this. See anything? These guys look good. Let's see. It was the first one. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a sec. These things might be a bit better because they're in the in the grass and stuff. Nothing under that one. This one. Nope. Where's my milk? Oh, garter. First snake of the night. This garter snake, my lens is so fogged up, it's crazy. Right, good sign to see a snake undercover. I'm gonna gently pick this guy up. Hopefully he doesn't tweak out. I don't wanna get musked, so I'm gonna put him back down and remove the tick from my leg. All right, how about this guy right here? What do we got? This looks like a good board. Piece of tin, that is. How about this guy? Nada. I feel like I'm in the Amazon or something. It literally is like, you could taste the air. It's so thick and, ugh, it is humid as hell. Um, I'm gonna check another site or two, so uh, stay with me here. All right, given such high humidity and uh, the fact that it's getting dark out, um, I think it's more likely that snakes are gonna be on the move right now than under my cover. So I'm gonna drive around a little bit and see if anything's out before uh, gearing up for a bigger day tomorrow. All right, well, of all things to cruise, I just cruised an absolute unit of a brown snake crossing the road. This thing is long, look at that. Big, potentially, uh, I don't know if I would say gravid. Probably too early in the year to say. But um, yeah, it was just crossing right here. Moving across and I saw it and stopped for it. It's headed right for water, so let's see. Uh, it doesn't mind if we can get some closer shots and then let it scoot into the water. Never seen a brown snake in the water, super weird. All right, we're gonna keep cruising for a little bit. Well, some DORs hurt a little bit more than others. <laughs> this is a bummer, this is real close to home. Uh, I'll shine the light on this guy in a second so you can see his true colors. Um, but this is real close to home, a, uh, a couple set of roads near board sites that I have that I do flip milk snakes at pretty frequently. Um, I was cruising tonight. I, I've seen like 
that brown snake and then a couple small, like real small snakes that have gotten away that I assume are brown snakes or something similar. Um, and then literally between passes um, at an intersection with the main road, this guy was was there. Uh, only DOR snake I've seen all night. Really a bummer. Um, but I guess it is what it is. I'm going to show this guy a little bit more up close in a sec. Yeah, I mean, you can see this was a nice milk. Really a bummer that it got hit. Nice kind of reds and whatnot. A good age and all. I mean, look at that coloring. It's such a bummer. Definitely bummed about this one. I'm going to, uh, I guess, get rid of this guy. Um, who is definitely no longer living, as you can see. Just totally limp, wet noodle. And uh, I'll keep cruising. Woo, that's bright. All right, so I was taking pictures just in hand of that milk pulled over, and the park I was in was closed, or uh, the park I was driving through was closed. And uh, I got like completely harassed by a police officer. Um, it wasn't that bad, obviously, but... Uh, it was just like, I was just trying to like take a picture and leave and he like took all my information and ran it and questioned me and shining a light in my car and it was like a whole deal. So uh, that kind of put a damper on the rest of the night. That was just close to my house though. Um, I wasn't really planning on getting out much today because I'm going to wake up tomorrow and hit the Pine Barrens. Um, I was just trying to flip some boards locally. Um, there wasn't much under boards and it was so hot and humid um, with storms coming soon that I, I figured that snakes would probably be more likely to move on the road and then you know as I was going to my board sites I started seeing some snakes on the roads and then the one snake that I was looking for really a milk snake uh, dead and I just missed it so bummer but hopefully we get some redemption tomorrow um, I'll check in with you guys in the morning when uh, it's time to get after it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am out bright and early this morning. It's gonna be a hot one today. I'm hoping that we get some rain coming in to cool things off a little bit or promote some snake movement. So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna start off by flipping some boards. Yeah. Right, so we are out hiking. It is hot as all hell right now. And we're somewhere where I've seen rattlesnakes before. And check this out, I just looked down and saw the pattern of a snake. Timber right in here. I don't know if you guys can see his rattle or not. Right there, there's his rattle. Let's see if I can get an angle at his head. It's gonna be real bad lighting. Because, let's see. Yeah, look at that guy. I'm gonna get my f friend here to get a better look at this before I do anything that might spook it, but pretty neat. That's really cool. Hopefully a better look at this snake. It is not the best looking New Jersey timber I've seen. It is very dull and brown. And uh, we're just gonna leave him exactly where he is and keep hiking. I'm hoping we get something else, but can't complain about these guys. <laughs> nice. So just a couple meters down from where we saw the last one, there's another timber right here. This one, on the edge of a piece of plastic, goes into the ground. Um, 
there's not really much we can do. The snake poked, poked, excuse me, the snake poked its head out a little bit ago, but there's not much we can do in terms of getting a better glance at this snake. So um, it's the type of thing where probably gestating female, so we'll have to come back here and check it out. And hopefully uh, we could see it in the evening or something. That last timber is still a little bit of a, a lost cause, but the first one we found, we just came back on the way out and it's moved a little bit. Let me see if I can get a good close-up of it. There we go. That's better. Not a terrible snake. In shed. Hoping that it uh, shed soon. And uh, cool thing is, if you don't harass snakes like this, especially timbers, if you see that they're hanging out in an area, you can come back another time if you didn't really bother them the first time, and they'll probably still be there. So, we'll come back and check this guy out, but great, uh, great little encounter. Cool to see two in this area. Possibly a gestation site. All right, next snake of the day was under a little piece of concrete. It's this really pretty ringneck snake. Like, look how nice that stomach is. It's really nice, honestly. I don't usually stop to look at these things too long, but that is just gorgeous. What a beauty. Neat, we're gonna let this guy go and uh, keep flipping. Here we go, buddy. There That's he goes. Well. Nice. I was literally just talking about this this morning. I have seen one rough green snake in my life. One. And it was in North Carolina. I've never seen one in New Jersey, despite all the cruising I do, despite all the time I spend down in the Pine Barrens. Never. And check this out. Right here. A rough green. And it's beautiful. I'm gonna get an up close of it before much else. Just because. I don't know what he's going to be like if I tr ever try to pose him or something like that. Oh my god. He's amazing. Oh yeah, that's so cool. So cool. I'm going to pick him up in a sec. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's tweaking, he's tweaking. Oh my gosh, what a neat snake. Look at that. Wow. This is my, one of my first ever in New Jersey. Second ever, just ever. And they're beautiful. I've seen plenty of smooth greens, but this is just awesome. I'm really happy to see this guy. Wow. Bound to see something eventually. I've just been cruising around because it's been so hot. It's 92 right now. But we got some storm fronts rolling in and on cue this guy showed up. So nice. Wow. I'm gonna take some pictures and then let this guy go. So neat. I'm gonna let this guy go. Alright, ready for this guy's disappearing act? I'm gonna make this snake disappear. Ready? Now it's loose in the vegetation now. I'm not sure exactly where it is. I see its tail. I doubt you guys can see this because the autofocus is probably all over the place. But, uh, there it is. Slinking away. Now it's in there. I think you can see it right there. But disappeared. How's that? It's rough green. That's, uh, 
a weirdly, it's been a weirdly troubling one for me. <laughs> Happy to knock it off in New Jersey. Anyway, hopefully many more this fall. I think they're easier when it's cooler and I'm typically at college, but I will not be at college this fall, so maybe we can find some more of those. But anyway, um, weather's getting better. I'm going to keep cruising and see if any more snakes cross. Alright, it has been hot all day. It just dropped like over 10 degrees, like 13 degrees or something like that. And it seems dark like it's later out, but it's really just, you know, about to be a massive thunderstorm. So, uh, I'm not sure if we're actually gonna get like completely rained on or if this, this is just like a pressure system moving over. But, uh, we're hoping right now as we cruise these roads but that's gonna stimulate some sort of snake movement. So we'll uh, we'll see if we can find anything here. I'm hoping that we do. Here is the rain we are expecting, so it seems like a good time to take a break and get some food. Um, and then after this rain, hopefully some snakes and things will be moving, we'll have to see. Um, if not, it'll be a good night to look at some frogs. <laughs> Alright, so the skies opened up on us, so we started going through shingle piles. It's torrential downpour, so I'm probably going to end the day soon. but. Nice little red-bellied snake. I'll give you guys a close-up in a second here. Whew. I'm sitting in my car because I just want to be dry, but there we go. Nice little guy. Nice little red stomach. I'm going to put him back in his pile. It is. That was lightning. <laughs> All right, well... Um, any real danger of getting struck by lightning seems to have dissipated, which is good, but it was getting sketchy out there. Like, there were severe storm warnings, the uh, sand roads were flooding, so I wasn't trying to be on the sand roads too much, and lightning was shooting all across the sky. Not a good look. Um, and my friend Tommy just popped his tire uh, that I was out here with, so I'm the lone survivor right now. Uh, looking for stuff. I'm checking like one more site, one or two more sites before heading home. It's actually starting to get kind of dark now, as you can tell. But I'm hopeful that I turn up a king real quick before going home. That's the hope. So, uh, in the rain, in the storm, which is now clearing, you can see a little bit of light in the sky. Let's see what we can do. Check this guy out. I'm not sure this guy's still under here, but there's a racer with a gnarly injury. Oh yeah, look at that. There he is. Check that out right there though. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but he's got like a massive chunk missing from his tail. I don't know if I should really touch this guy and bother him, but I hope he's all right. Look at that. I'm gonna leave him alone. Uh, he's going down below. His tail is literally getting stuck. I'm gonna leave him alone. Whew! What a long day in the Barrens. That was wild. I am, I can't tell if this is sweat or if this is rain. I believe it is mostly rain, but it is humid and sticky. I was really hoping this rain would hit either earlier or later, but it hit like right at the worst time. Put a damper on the day. Um, you just last saw those, well, I flipped two racers. I videotaped one of them. Uh, one of them got away. It was really big. It looked like it also weirdly had an injury like that last one. But um, I've since flipped a little bit nearby and I'm not seeing much. Um, there is some cover that I feel like would be productive tonight, but I think it's time to time to call it and regroup for a better day. Um, so, 
that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment uh, regardless. Like the video, it helps me out big time. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.